Hi guys, and welcome back to another quick Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and in today's post I want to show you guys just quickly what are the differences between layers and also just talk a little bit about layers and a complete layers panel over here. Due to so many requests about layers and how to work with layers, I'm dedicating the next two sessions just to layers. So let's get started with that. First of all, as you guys can also see, on the left hand side we are still in CS5 and on the right hand side CS6. A lot of users ask me not to move on to CS6. Sorry, I really need to do that. So over here, just the one and only difference you will have in your layers panel from CS5 and CS6. In CS6, we have a new sorting system here at the top in our application bar under the kind area, which you don't have in CS5. So very simple, that is the only update in CS6 in the layers panel. So if you're still in CS5, don't worry, you will just don't have that. Otherwise, everything is still the same. All right, so let's get started with our quick tutorial. First of all, I wanna talk you guys through our layers panel here from CS6. At the moment, I have nothing imported, so let me just grab on my desktop here a image, move that all the way to Photoshop, and open that in Photoshop. I'm going to press F to have it nice and full screen, and also move this a little bit into the side here, so we can just see where we are and what is happening. Okay, let me drag my panel a little bit over to the right hand side here, and first of all, if you don't even have the layers panel from, or if it's still down here in your workspace, you can very easily take this and drag it out, and then you have your own panel on its own. If it's minimized like this with the small arrows, then just tap the arrow and it's nice and big. And if you don't have the layers panel at all, you can just go up to window and select the layers panel here, tick that and it will appear. Okay, so let's get started and talk a little about our layers panel. First of all, at the top here, we have something called layers. So we know, okay, this is our layers panel. Then on the right hand side, we have the small triangles to make our panel small and big again. Down here we have another button which is basically a drop down menu and here you have loads of different options to work with your layers which you can also get via hitting the right click button on your layer or via going up here to the top layer and then also working with this drop down menu. So again Photoshop gives you just a few options to work with these different shortcut commands. Okay, so over here, let's get started with our first buttons. As you guys can see, everything is still grayed out and I can't use anything. Only these bot buttons here at the bottom. So first of all, what I need to do to change that, I will have to double click onto my layer and unlock my layer. So over here, you can see it's unlocked. Let's double click on here. We will get a new window asking for us, do you want to rename this? Yes, I want to rename that to my original or say just a basic layer because this is just a basic normal layer now. Over here we have still a clipping option, we're not going to work with this. Over here you have color, you can give that a red color if you want to, blending options and change your opacity. We're not going to work in this tutorial with that now. Hit OK and first of all we got a basic layer now set to red. Visibility is on here in the front as you guys can see, you can also turn off layers and also we have unlocked it. Okay, so now everything is free and we can now work with all our buttons. Okay, very simple. Let's quickly run you guys through the first application here at the top, which is basically now just in CS6. And with this option, you can now sort different layers. What this basically means is, if you have more than say 100 layers, you've got text layers, you've got adjustment layers, you've got shape layers, etc, etc. You can sort these layers and really quickly find specific layers with using these buttons. So over here, if I select now just this, it means that we're just going to see basic layers. Over here, we just have normal basic layers, but let me just quickly create maybe a text layer over here. I'm just going to put the G. Okay, and then I'm also going to create really roughly adjustment layer, but more about that in the next lesson. Okay, create that. And we are basically created that now. At the moment, you can't see that now. So let me just tap onto our basic adjustment here again. And now you can also see that we have a text layer and a adjustment layer. But more about the layers in the next session. So over here, just to come back quickly, we can now sort different layers. So once I hit the normal basic layer over here, you will also see the button is now ready and it's switched on. And at the moment, we can only see basic layers. If I now select the next tool, which is basically adjustment layers. Over here, we will just see adjustment layers and still basic layers. That is also because our basic layer is still selected. So if I unselect that, we will just see the adjustment layer. The same again, if I select text, let me just untag our adjustment layers and hit the text. We can now only see 
text layers. Okay, so very simple, you can choose different layers over here and also find different layers quicker. You can also use the on and off button here to either blend that in and or out. Okay, select that again. And now over to the left hand side, first of all, we can choose under kind here. You can choose name, you can write the name in there. You can go also to effect. Then also if you have a different effect style to your layer, you can find that very quickly. Mode, attribute and color. So loads of different options here to find your layers quicker. We're going to leave it to kind and as I showed you guys already, use these different buttons. Okay, so now at the moment other, our other two options here are also blended out and we can't use them. That is because you first of all have to select a layer before you can use these buttons. So let's select the basic layer and over here I can now change blending options. So under the normal palette we have a drop down menu with different blending options. But more of that in our second lesson. Then also we have the opacity, we can still tweak and change our opacity of the layer. Then down here we have a few options to lock that layer. Say for instance if you just want to lock that again, you can use the lock button over here and that layer is locked again. If I move it, it's going to give us a message, could not use the move tool because the layer is locked. Okay, double click on here and maybe, no it's not going to unlock, we have to go back here to the top and unlock it there again. The same again with these other options. You can now not brush on this, you can't move this and also delete this. So over here untag all of that and now the layer is free. If you have anything selected your layer will be locked. Then again the fill also works almost like opacity just has a softer feel to it and is just a little bit finer. But more of that in our second lesson. Okay so over there we have these few buttons to work with our layers. Then again also down here we have our different layers and also switching it on or off. Again visibility on or off. Then at the bottom we have a link button, we have the style effects, we have masks, dis different adjustments again, we have groups, we have new layer icon and also the bin. So down here again a few new options to work with our layers. If I quickly show it to you guys, first of all basic layer, if I'm going to select the G now, holding shift and select G layer as well, our link button down here basically appears and we can now link these two layers together. So whatever I'll do or wherever I move these layers, these two layers will always stick together. Okay, then down here we also have layer styles. If I now select the layer style, we will directly be brought into a layer style drop down menu which will just shorten our way again or we can double tap onto our layer here and we will also be brought into the layer style diagram over here. So over here on the left hand side again a few more options to do different things to our layer styles. And also over here on the right hand side just to fine tune all of that again. I'm going to hit uh, cancel here and just go out of that mode again. Then also here we have a mask button. If I select the mask we will attach a mask to a normal layer. Then again we also have adjustment layers. Over here we can create adjustment layers via the drop down menu. Say for instance brightness and contrast. We'll get a different adjustment layer here at the top. And also in our properties field from the adjustment panel you can then again tweak that adjustment layer. Ok, escape that. And last step over here is also a group create a group, you can create different groups, take different layers and move that into that group. If you untick that group you will see that and minimize it, that adjustment layer is now tagged to this group as well here. The same you can also take this layer and move it into here and that will also be dropped in there. Double click on here and we can then also say group 1 or whatever you want to rename it to. I'm going to say group 1 over here and we have now a group. Then also we have a new layer I can over here to create a complete new empty layer where nothing is in it or if you want to take down or drag down other layers onto that icon and create duplicates via that. So over here you will now see basic layer copy which basically means you have created a copy of this first basic layer. Also as you guys can see it's already linked again because we still have the link option on. So select those layers again. You can also via holding shift delete or enable the link. I'm just going to enable it again. Select the mask over here. Hold command and select these layers and then going to go down to the link icon, untag that and nothing is linked again. Okay, last step is very simple. Either backspace to delete or also drag the layer all the way down and delete that layer again. Okay, so let's select the layer 1 again. We can also drag that to the bin and we have also deleted this now. Say for instance if I want to also create another group, 
I can again hold just command, select the text layer over here, go all the way down to our group icon here, select a group, and now these two layers have been applied to that group. I minimize this now, you will also see those two layers have been applied to that group. Okay, very simple, just quickly give you a run through over our layers panel here. Please also have a look at the second lesson where we're going to talk about layers just a little bit. Okay, thank you guys for watching. My name is Manny. If you still have any questions, please email me to team at mannyphotography.co.za. Happy to help you with your questions. Okay, see you all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.